button for downloading your movies is to choose a torrent program and install it on your computer. I suggest Views. This is how you do it. From your search engine, type in the letters V-U-Z-E. Press Enter. The first one that should come up is Views. So that's the one you want. Go ahead and click that going to give you two choices, the Views Plus. If you want to go ahead and download that now, you can. It does cost $30, but it has a lot of neat features, including a converter and burner. If not, you can upgrade to that later. For now, we're going to download the Views Free download. We're going to give you another opportunity, again, to get the, uh, the Views Plus, and then have you enter this information Go ahead and just click the Views Free Download. I'm going to save it to my computer. It's going to take a moment for it to do that. Next, I'm going to go ahead and launch it, execute it, and run it. Your process on your computer may be a little different. But I'm sure you've downloaded a program before. This first window that pops up is the Terms of Service. I want you to go ahead and agree with this one. This next window that pops up, you need to stop and take a moment here. It's trying to add some things on that you don't need. First is the Bing. It wants to change your default search engine to Bing. You don't want that. Second thing it's asking is to install a feature called the Views Remote to your search engine. You may want to add this feature later, but for now you do not want that. That's my security. It's trying to, uh, the program is downloading onto my hard drive and my system comes up, allow it to download. My computer is older for you that this program will work on just about any computer. The first thing that's going to come along is, is they're trying to sell you some features, all of which I'm sure are good, but right now you don't need them. So I'm going to advise you to decline any ads that you receive along the way. It's taking a moment to download. And there we go. This is the Views window. This is what it looks like. While it's finishing here, I'm going to have you notice a couple of things. First, it's similar to just about every other window you've ever used. On the top, these tabs, File, View, Community, things that you're familiar with. Right here, though, is the big one. This is your search field. This is one of the two places you'll be entering the titles that you want for your search. Along this whole edge here, this is your different views. If you notice, I clicked on Getting Started. This in the center here is another search field we will be working with. And it's that simple. You've now installed views onto your computer, and we'll move on to step two.